Welcome one and all to the Totally Awesome Tournament Quarterfinals. My name is Josh again, your head commentator as always, and dear God, what a mismatch we have coming up first. <laughs> look and look at this match. I want it framed and just hung in the loo <laughs> for all to see. It's Sephiroth versus Tony Hawk in our first match of the quarterfinals. Who is moving on to the semifinals at the Championship Showdown. Once again, the semifinals and the finals will be taking place at the TAW Championship Showdown. And of course, the winner of the entire tournament not only will face whoever the TAW World Heavyweight Champion is at Crash Course 2, but will also be awarded the TAW Excalibur Championship. So a lot on the line here at the as we are nearing the end of this tournament. It's been a long road, it's been crazy. Uh, we even saw a ring explode at one point. And here, speaking of exploding, here comes Sephiroth whose body, basically, has been exploding over the past year as everyone's, especially Bane, has just been giving this man the, the, the roughest of rough times, both here and in uh, CIW. Shout out to uh, your Sentinel, Sean McCarty, over at Colonial Impact Wrestling. But yeah, here comes Sephiroth coming down to the ring, going up against Tony Hawk, a man who I'm sure many are surprised made it out of the first round, or made it, in, made it into the first round. Uh, yeah, Tony Hawk has been racking up some wins, which is shocking, to say the least. Although he, ke he keeps trying to go for that damn Birdman, and just, Tony, the special beam cannon has been what's been winning you matches, so stick with that. Just don't go with the Birdman, please, for the love of God. We also have um, Bane versus Shinsuke Nakamura later tonight. Uh, our main event is Deku versus Jeff the Killer in a rematch from Hardcore Paradise. And here comes Tony Hawk, was just talking about him. Man, I, I still don't know how this man has made it this far in the tournament. But again, we're going, we're talking about who's making it to the semifinal. Will Tony make it to the finals? Oh, God! I just mentioned Bane a second ago. Are you serious? Can we have one show where Anarchy doesn't break out before the first match even starts? And now Tony Hawk making his way down the ringside. Okay, that, that is a mistake. Tony. Why would you do that, Tony? Why would you do that? Why would you get in the middle of Bane and Sephiroth's beef? And oh my god, Bane is just trying to murder everyone with a steel chair. Can we have one damn show start with a match without a brawl? Like, this happened at the Super Show. And this also happened during FF Power Episode 1. Just, oh no. Oh no, ba All right, so Tony Hawk has officially pissed off Bane. He's already pissed off at Sephiroth. Now he's just going to take them both out. And I guess we're not going to have the first match of the quarterfinals. Oh no. Going for the double, going for the double rise of the darkness. Oh my god. And just planting both of them. Bane, why? This has been happening this entire tournament. Why? Can we not? Oh my god. I, I hate my life. So, I don't even know if we're going to have this match. Okay, both of them are back to their feet. Oh, the, the bell has sounded. And Tony Hawk is already going for the... No way. No way! Special beam cannon to Sephiroth off of the double rise of the darkness. Is Tony Hawk about to defeat Sephiroth? One, two... Oh, Sephiroth kicks out at two. Oh my god, that was close. And Tony Hawk oh, gets caught with a power slam as our first match is now underway after both men just got assaulted by Bane. This has been happening to Sephiroth all year. When will it end? Oh, but Tony Hawk trying to take advantage, even though he got planted as well. Dropkick knocking Sephiroth off the apron. And Tony Hawk... To Tony, enough with the high flying. It is not your forte. It should not be in your repertoire. And now Sephiroth. Sephiroth top rope. That is how you do a high flying move, Tony. Like, and Sephiroth doesn't even go to the top rope that often, but... He hits more often than he misses, which is not something I can say for Tony Hawk, but a knee to the back of the head. The show just started, and I'm already stressed out. And now Sephiroth going, oh, going for the Genova Splash. Oh, but Tony Hawk is able to avoid it. And a big jumping neck breaker off of, off of that dodge, and an elbow right to the sternum. Man, this is already intense. And oh, another elbow to the sternum. Can Tony Hawk do the unthinkable? And uh, okay, that was not family friendly. Oh, and a huge stunner by Tony Hawk. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't you dare. Don't do not do it, Tony. It never works! God! But again, what a shock. He missed the Birdman. 
And Sephiroth with a huge Uranagi, wiping him out. Oh, and Tony Hawk might live to regret being foolish, like he always is. Shot to the gut. First the Uranagi, and now the one-winged angel connects. That's got to be it. Into the cover. One, two, three. Sephiroth advances to the semifinals, despite all of the adversity that continues to be thrown his way. This poor guy has just... And again, Bane. Bane, enough! We get it, Bane. You don't like Sephiroth. We understand. We heard the promo. We get it. And now going for another Rise of the Darkness. I'm not going to make it through this commentary session, just forewarning you. Big Rise of the Darkness again on Sephiroth. Okay. Bane, Bane, we get it. Uh, not a third one. Not a third one. Can someone come out here and stop this? Please. I mean, Tony Hawk tried, and he got wiped out. A third Rise of the Darkness on Sephiroth. How does Sephiroth even have a spine at this point? How like how how did how did Sephiroth even win that match? He's withstood three rises of the darkness. How much how many times can the the darkness rise in one day? That just sounds uh, improbable. And a special beam cannon, but Sephiroth manages to make it to make it to the semifinals. He will be going to the championship showdown. But will Bane join him? I mean, Bane's going to be wrestling later tonight. And here comes Nero versus the Joker, our other match here tonight. But my God, I'm so frustrated. Like, I I don't want to be unbiased. I I I do want to be unbiased. I don't want to be biased. I'm so fl I'm so flummoxed right now. But Shinsuke Nakamura, please Bomiye the shit out of Bane just for me, because I, I this has been going on this entire tournament. Just shenanigans and chicanery and shenaniganery all throughout this tournament. And my beautiful turn. I feel like the re the ring announcer in Dragon Ball Z after the tournament fell apart before the, the Boo Saga started. My beautiful tournament. Oh, I'm a mess right now. But anyway, trying to get back to some semblance of normalcy. Here comes Nero, the former uh, two-time TAW Hardcore Champion, going up against the former two-time TAW World Champion former Excalibur champion and current quote-unquote real CIW champion. Uh, again, mentioned Sean earlier. I'm sure he rolls his eyes every time he sees that shit. But this is going to be an interesting match. Nero versus the Joker? Sign me up. Sign me up. I believe this is the first time they've ever crossed paths here in TAW. And of course, uh, about a month ago, Dante gave his nephew uh, Nero his nod of approval, saying that he's basically his pick to win the entire tournament. Although, again, Dante Dante didn't even fill out a bracket, which, I mean, I put the bracket up for a reason, Dante. That is encouraging people, even you, to fill out a bracket. Just And then, yes, I know the site is crawling with ads. That's the internet. Just install an ad block. I'm a hypocrite. I don't have ad block myself. But still, go, here comes the Joker. Speaking of hypocrites and people that drive me crazy, still holding that... You're not even the CIW champion. Symbiote Spider-Man is. Just, I'm frustrated with everyone. But again, that title is not on the line. But this is about moving on to the semifinals. Who will be going up against Sephiroth at the championship showdown? That's what this match is about. Oh, and now uh, oh, Nero uh, gaining the early advantage with a European uppercut. Or oh, try to go for another one. Try to get a little too cute, but did not work. Now a side headlock. Now oh, going right after the eyes, of course. Classic Joker. And now Joker, oh, tried to go for a drop kick, but did not work. And, oh, big boot right to the face by Nero. Nice drop kick. And another drop kick. Nero showing he's got some hops. And oh, another drop kick, sending the Joker flying to the outside. And that, Tony Hawk, that is how you do that move. I don't know why you keep trying to go high flying. It never works for you, Tony. Although he did use the special beam cannon and it didn't work, but whatever. And oh, oh tried to go for a diving cross body. Uh, but the Joker was able to avoid it. Now the Joker on the apron. Springboard! Oh, he tried to go for that springboard knee that he likes to employ, but it got countered. Oh, oh counter again! Belly-to-belly -belly suplex! Counter after counter here. Avoiding big move, and... Uh, oh, look at this. Now, full Nelson. Dragon suplex! Now, with a bridge, one! But only a one count for the Joker. And now... Oh, big drop kick! <laughs> He's like, you're gonna drop kick me 30 times in this match? You know what? I'm gonna drop kick you as well. Now throwing, oh, counter though by Nero, counter by Nero. And, oh, <laughs> Nero responds with another drop kick. Nero, a big fan of the drop kick, apparently. And now, oh, big boot, man. So many feet to the face in this matchup. Oh, and there's another one, another boot to the face. And another cover. One, 
But again, only a one count. It's going to take a lot more than that to take down Nero. But a counter with a hip toss. And a big jumping elbow right to the sternum by Nero, the former hardcore champion. Now going to the top rope. And this time he nails the crossbody. And now into the lateral press. One, two, got a two off of that one. And again, the winner of this match will go up against Sephiroth uh, in the semifinals of the tournament. But a nice counter by the Joker and a suicide dive. It's nice to see people who can actually hit high flying moves. I'm I'm very salty about Tony about Tony Hawk. Okay, I just don't like people named Tony. I'm just realizing. I don't I don't really like Tony Khan. I hate Tony Schiavone, and Tony Hawk just drives me crazy. Uh, uh, Tony Stark is fine. Tony is Tony Stark is the one Tony that I don't want to murder. But now Nero back up. Oh, well, now look at this. And, oh, guillotine leg drop up against the ropes. Nice move by the Joker. And springboard. Oh, knee to the sternum. And now top rope again. Oh, went for the frog splash, but Nero was able to avoid it. And the frog splash is what Nero has used. He used that to defeat Sonic in the first round of this tournament. And more elbows to the sternum trying to soften him up, perhaps, for that frog splash. That he's won numerous matches with. Oh, counter, though, by the Joker. And Irish whip into the ropes. Oh, missed a clothesline. Backbreaker, neckbreaker combination. That is classic Joker offense right there. It's one of his signature moves here. And uh, and in that, now he knows that he has the momentum. Oh, look at this. Ace in the hole connects. Ace in the hole into the cover. One, two. Oh, Nero kicks out of Ace in the hole. That was close. That was very close. Almost got him there. I believe that's the move he used to win the quote-unquote real CIW title from Kratos back over on Colonial Impact Wrestling. But an yet another drop kick by Nero. And, oh, flipping into a leg drop to the outside on top of the Joker. And now Nero oh, try trying to go after the legs. That's smart. Take away a lot of the Joker's offense here. And now some big strikes. Oh, counter. And again going to the eyes. I rake. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Going for the Joker driver on the floor. Joker driver on the floor off of the eye rake. Oh, that might be enough. Joker, yeah, Joker want, Joker will absolutely be satisfied with a count-out victory here. Nero is in a world of trouble. Got face-planted. And now go back on the apron. Oh, no. oh, Joker tried to... Oh, punch to the face. Nice counter by Nero. Springboard. Oh, springboard elbow to the face, knocking him down. And Nero trying to respond. And frog splash! He got him into the cover. One, two... Ah, oh, the Joker kicks out at two and a half. That was close. I thought he had him there. That was way too close for comfort for the Joker. Man, what a response, though, by Nero after being dropped on his face on the outside with the Joker driver. But a block. And the Joker trying to fire back. Shot to the gut. Oh, what is the Joker going? Oh, not another Joker driver. Oh, oh wait. Oh, pile driver. Pile driver spiking Nero on the top of his head. One. Two, and again, another near fall. Nero able to get the shoulder up as this battle continues. This has been a hell of a match thus far. And oh, oh, no, count, count, oh counter, though, counter. They're going after the leg again. Nero trying to fire back. Big drop kick once again. Nero's favorite move. Oh, and now old oh, Snapmare takedown. Oh, kick right to the sternum. And Nero building some momentum here. And the Joker uh, a little bit on the back foot. And that, oh, again, go, oh, that, yeah, that, that knee is causing him some problems, some punches. Don't miss the clothesline. Oh, spinning back kick. Spinning back kick by Nero. And oh, right in the drop zone, perhaps. Right in the drop zone, perhaps. Nero. Oh, he went for the frog splash, but the Joker saw it coming and rolled out of the way. Oh, now trying to take advantage. Schoolboy. Oh, but way too close to the ropes. Uh, nice call by the official Alfred. Oh, small package. Small package by Nero. Small package. One, two. Oh, counter by the Joker. One, two. Oh, he got him. Oh, the Joker was able to turn around that small package and pin Nero 1, 2, 3, just like that. Unfortunately, sometimes you just get caught, ladies and gentlemen. Nero got caught, and the Joker will now be advancing to the semifinals. Say what you want about the guy, but hey, Sephiroth versus the Joker, that's a hell of a match right there. I'm looking forward to that if Sephiroth will even be in one piece come the championship showdown. But now we're going to find out what the other half of the semifinals is going to look like as the Joker celebrates his victory over Nero. Again, say what you want about the guy, but he won that one fair and square, uh, despite all the, you know, the attacks on the eyes. But here we go with a, another strange Bedfellows match. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Bane. We saw Bane just a couple minutes ago attacking Sephiroth twice and Tony Hawk. 
Again, trying to maintain being and trying to maintain being an unbiased commentator, but that kind of shit pisses me off. So Nakamura, if you could so kindly nail him with a Bomiye knee strike right between the eyes and move on to the semifinals, that'd be great. That would be fantastic. I would absolutely sign off on that. Hell, I would co-sign off of that. I would go off on a tangent because of that. All right, math jokes. Uh, but any, I would go off on a co-tangent because. All right. What happened in this commentary? What what is happening right now? I'm absolutely just losing my mind. I'm amped up, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited about the tournament, and I'm not happy about all the bullshit that's been going on. Looking at you, Bane. Looking at you, Shaolin Combat Club. Although, again, I'm very happy that Frieza w uh, went up and gave Liu Kang a bulldog, a, a bulldog, a, a death ball on the uh, most recent Super Show. That put a smile on my face. Frieza uh, laying claim to uh, the TAW TA, uh, the TAW Championship, but here comes Bane, who again we saw him earlier assaulting Sephiroth and Tony Hawk. <sighs> Bane again is one of my dark horses to win this thing. I mean, as much as I would love for Nakamura to, you know, kick him in the face a lot, I just I I have a feeling that Bane is going to go all the way in this thing. I mean, the dude is massive. The dude is impressive. He broke a ring with the Hulk's back. He defeated Deadpool and has been making Sephiroth's life hell for, like, almost a year now. Uh, so, I don't know, man. But, of course, after this is our huge main event, a rematch from Hardcore Paradise. Jeff the Killer versus Deku. Bitter rivals going one-on-one. -on -one. But I do just want to touch on real quick, Frieza attacking Liu Kang at the end of the Super Show. Hopefully Frieza can kick Liu Kang's ass because I'm sick and tired of the Shaolin Combat Club. But here we go with this match, and already off to an astronomically bad start. Massive spine buster. Nakamura ran right into that one. Oh, oh, counter though, counter though by Nakamura, sending Bane flying to the outside. And, to, oh, huge flying knee to the outside, right to the face of Bane. Bane was not able to counter that one. And now Nakamura, you can feel a, like a real sense of urgency by Nakamura here. But look at what he's facing. Oh, counter though. Big punch right to the face. And oh, another huge knee. That cut down, look like that one got him in the jaw. Into the cover. One, oh, but barely a one count. That was barely a one. And now some nice strikes. This Nakamura needs to rely on his striking, his striking aptitude. The king of strong style. Oh, never. The, the king of getting clotheslined. Oh, jumping knee by Bane, though. And off that knee. Oh, knee to the spine with a huge backbreaker. Bane very fond of backbreakers. Don't believe me? Ask Batman. Oh, oh but a counter. Oh, nice double leg takedown by Nakamura. Using some leverage there and a clothesline knocking down Bane. Now Shinsuke Nakamura's got him up against the ropes. Again, Nakamura needs to dance with what brought him these devastating strikes. The master of the knee strike. Now Bane uh, up against the ropes and Nakamura winding up. Big boot to the face, knocking Bane to the outside. Nakamura in control for the time being. But Bane pops right back up and Nakamura took a little bit too much time going to the outside. And he bounced right off the apron. And now just launching Nakamura into the barricade. Again, who is moving on to the semifinals of the Totally Awesome Tournament? And again, huge, very huge things at stake here. The winner of the tournament will challenge whoever the TAW champion is at Crash Course 2, and the winner of the tournament will also be crowned the Excalibur champion. And for those of you that don't know that, the Excalibur championship is basically our money in the bank, except it's a championship. And now uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. What is Nakamura doing here? Oh, going after the legs. This is smart. This is smart. One way to uh, knock the dude down. Uh, if, if you're going up against someone that's bigger than you are, I mean, default strategy should be, I'm going to go after the legs a lot. And now Nakamura. Oh, look at this. Oh, backstabber. Huge backstabber. Oh, oh and Bane might be in the drop zone. Bane might be in the drop zone here, setting up for the Bomie. Come on, Nakamura. Pull the trigger. Oh, here we go. Oh, but he missed it. Oh, Bane was able to see it coming. Oh, that makes me sad. When Irish whip into the ropes. And look at that! Look at the overwhelming power of Bane! My God! Right in position for the Rise of the Darkness. And he connects with it. That might be it. Nakamura might be done off that pop-up Rise of the Darkness. Cover! One, two, three. And just like that, Bane wins. Wow.
That was impressive. Just launched Nakamura into the air and caught him with the Rise of the Darkness. I mean, say what you want. That is impressive. But Bane is now moving on to the semifinals and will be facing the winner of Deku versus Jeff the Killer. And here comes Sephiroth. So I approve. I approve. Get that shit, Sephiroth. Flip that hair. And after everything that Bane has been doing to Sephiroth, Sephiroth deserves this. And you're a Nagi right on the chair. This is what you call payback, ladies and gentlemen. And now picking him back. Oh, oh, oh count counter though by Bane. It might have been... Oh, it might have been ill-advised though because Sephiroth is still way less than 100%. Oh, but oh, Sephiroth trying to fire back though. Trying to fire back though. Wait, what is this? Oh, now Sephiroth gets caught. Sephiroth got caught. Now he's about to eat a fourth Rise of the Darkness. He's already eaten this three times. And again gets planted with the Rise of the Darkness. He just does not have an answer for anything Bane throws at him. And oh, steel chair right to the abdomen. Oh, and right to the head again. This war that Bane has waged on Sephiroth. I understand that Sephiroth wanted to come out here and get some revenge, but come fight this dude when you're 100%. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, face first into the chair. I think the only thing you manage to do, Sephiroth, is piss Bane off. I mean... We just saw what he did to Nakamura, and he took a, he hit both Sephiroth and Tony Hawk with a double Rise of the Darkness. And oh, no. oh come on, Bane! You've made your point! Uh, perhaps this was not the smartest move by Sephiroth, but I mean, you can't blame the dude for being pissed. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Bane, don't do it. Oh, God. Oh, Sephiroth is about to die! Oh, my God! Just splashed Sephiroth right through the announce table. And we still... <sighs> Show's not even over yet. We couldn't even make it to the main event before the table already gets exploded. Uh, well, that, that ambush backfired on Sephiroth, who's now even more injured. <sighs> I, I, I said earlier, is Sephiroth even going to be in one piece come the semifinals of this tournament? But apparently not. Apparently not. But my God, up next, ladies and gentlemen, is our main event. I'm so flustered. I'm so flustered, and I was about to say flustrated. I'm so <laughs> flustrated. I just pulled a Skylar and invented a word. But anyway, our main event up next, Jeff the Killer versus Deku. The winner of this match will face Bane at the championship showdown in the semifinals of the Totally Awesome Tournament. I do not envy whoever wins this match, because you're going up against... That thing that just went flying through the sky and put Sephiroth through our table, which was just reassembled via the Force. Thank you, Yoda. This is, I mean, we we also hire Yoda so he can win matches, but he hasn't exactly been doing that. He got bounced out of the XTW Submission Championship Tournament uh, in the first round. So basically, we just use him to reassemble tables with the Force. Thanks, Yoda. Thank you for your contributions. Here comes Jeff the Killer, who actually has a lot of momentum going his way over the past several weeks. He's made it to the quarterfinals. Uh, he's defeated Venom and General Grievous, and he defeated uh, Jason Voorhees in an Extreme Rules match uh, at the Halloween special. So, Jeff the Killer has some momentum right now, but so does his opponent. This man, Izu Izuku Midoriya Deku, who the last time we saw Deku, he put on an absolute banger with John Cena. They had one of the best matches of the year and Deku defeated John Cena to advance to this round of the tournament. But can he do what he did in Hardcore Paradise and defeat Jeff the Killer? Although I don't think anyone's going to help him this time. He did have a bit of an assist uh, thanks to Michael Myers and uh, Jason Voorhees in that first blood match. But now, bitter rivals Deku and Jeff the Killer going one-on-one -on -one in the quarterfinals of the Totally Awesome Tournament. And here we go. And every match that Jeff has had this tournament, he's done the same thing going after the exposed turnbuckle. Really? Oh, wait a second. Wait. Uh, Deku going a little tit for tat here. I like it. Deku's like, yeah, I did the same thing. What are you going to do about it? Oh, and Jeff's trying to ante up here. And Deku is not letting him. Okay, uh, okay. We are having a a four-corner exposed turnbuckle match. Oh, and Deku, oh, flying to the end. Oh, my God. Flying through the sky. Wiping out Jeff the Killer with that helo, that, uh, that Topecon helo to the outside. And now, oh, big clothesline as this match is now underway. All of the turnbu all of the top turnbuckles have been exposed, ladies and gentlemen. 
Oh, springboard. Hand scissors takedown by Deku. Jeff the Killer has been using the exposed turnbuckles to advance his way into the, throughout this tournament. That's how he defeated Venom and how he defeated General Grievous. And turnabout is fair play, and Deku is not going to allow him to have that advantage in this matchup. And I approve. Oh, and now Sunset Flip out of the corner. One, two, but Jeff the Killer is able to kick out at two. And, oh, missed the clothesline. Oh, and that big neck breaker. Now hooking the leg. One, but only a one count on Deku. And now, oh, big clothesline this time by Jeff the Killer. And now Deku in a little bit of trouble here. But this is a this is a very dangerous scenario here. I mean, you have four exposed turnbuckles in this match. Someone's going to get hurt. It is very likely that someone's going to get hurt. Big springboard kick by Jeff the Killer. That uh, He loves that move. And now, uh, waiting for Deku to get up. Springboard. Oh, and a springboard just sent on, knocking him down. And another springboard leg drop. So many springboards that actually connect. Eat shit, Tony Hawk. One, two, and a kick out at two by Deku. Nice co combination, though. And, oh, right into the exposed turnbuckle. That's exactly what Jeff wanted. No, full Nelson. And, oh, dear God. Oh, my God. Slamming him face first into the exposed steel three times. Damn, it's a wonder that didn't bust Deku open. That was nasty. Oh, man, this is going to be a vicious matchup. I can already tell him. Clothesline, knocking Deku to the outside, and Jeff the Killer clearly feels that he is in command of this contest. And for the time being, he is. And now, oh, look at these strikes. Just devastating strikes. Not giving Deku a chance to breathe. And, oh, sit out, Gord Buster on the floor. And Deku bounced off the floor. That was nasty. And now, oh, throwing him face first. And oh, and again, face first into the expo, right into the ring post. And uh, of course, uh, Jeff the Killer's finishing move, the go to sleep, targets the face, uh, you know, via knee strike to the dome. So uh, clearly, Jeff is uh, softening him up for the GTS in the early goings of this match. But Deku firing back with a jawbreaker, nice counter, and Irish whip into the ropes. And Deku, oh, Hurricane Rana, this is how he defeated Broly. One. The alt counter by Jeff. One. The, uh, but only a one count. Now Jeff back up. Oh, oh but gets caught into another Hurricane Ron. Hooking the leg again. One. Two. And a kick out at two this time. Trying to catch him by surprise. Big kick to the face. And now Deku's rolling, ladies and gentlemen. Float over DDT. And Deku in command here. Float over DDT. And now a nice blue thunder bomb by Deku. I mean, he's already defeated Jeff the Killer a few times. And now dropkick knocking him out of the ring. Remember, it was in, I think it was Deku's first match. Oh, look at this springboard. Oh, Senton knocking him down again. I think it was Deku's uh, debut match was at that six-man tag team match. And in that match, he actually pinned Jeff the Killer, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. And another springboard Senton to the outside. And he defeated him again at Hardcore Paradise. Can he go 3-0 and against Jeff the Killer? And you know, you know how much Jeff the Killer hates Deku. And now Springboard dropkick knocking down his opponent. And Deku high-flying. Going to the top rope. And Swanton Bomb into the cover. One, two. Oh, two and a half. That was a close one. That was a very close one. Jeff able to kick out of that at the last second. And, oh, nice combination. And oh, Je oh, Jeff was a little spaghetti-like, but a counter by Jeff the Killer. And now what is Jeff going to do here? Oh, going for that set out gore buster again and oh man that is such a devastating move going right to the midsection and the face and the head and oh just a knee drop right to the sternum and and deku's in a little bit of trouble here he's got him up against the ropes and oh just <laughs> sending him flying to the outside and now on the outside of the ring again they have to be careful because they have a 10 count to work with oh oh got countered deku tried to go for that combination Oh, but oh, counter, punch to the face, nice counter. And oh, drop kick right to the face by Deku. And now, wait, what is Deku going to do here? Top rope, top rope for Deku. And oh no, he got caught. He got caught in midair. Got caught in midair. And Jeff, go to sleep on the outside. Uh, he might have just knocked him out. If this was Falls Count Anywhere, that probably would have been it. But now throwing Deku back in the ring, Jeff needs to hurry. And now, uh, to try to maximize the effectiveness of the GTS in midair... Uh, can Jeff cover him? Uh, here we go. Cover. One. Two. Oh, and Deku kicks out at two and a half. That was still devastating, though. But again, too much time had, had elapsed before Jeff was able to make the cover, and Deku was able to recover just, a, just enough to kick out. And now perhaps going for that gore buster again, but went to, for it too many times. Neck breaker. Nice counter by uh, Deku. And off of that counter. And, oh, shot right to the spine. 
And now going after the neck and the spine, which is what his finishing move, the Detroit Smash, targets. After he, he drills you right on the top of your head with that inverted uh, brain buster. But, oh, throwing Jeff the Killer, uh, sternum first into the exposed turnbuckle. And just stomping away at him. And I'll go behind, side headlock. Oh, into the crossface. The crossface, this is the movie used to literally make Freddy Krueger quit TAW until he returned to XTW and has moved on in the uh, Submission Championship Tournament, so congratulations to Freddy Krueger. Now, uh, some more strikes by Deku. Oh, counter, counter. Oh, and Siguri counter. Nice uh, back and forth here, ladies and gentlemen. And oh, shot to the leg. Deku measuring. Oh, shoot style to the face, and he busted him wide open. Oh, will that be enough off the shoot style? One, two. Oh, that was close. I thought that was it. That was so close. And oh, knee right to the face. And I'll, I'll try to go for the Detroit Smash, but a counter by Jeff. Shot to the gut. And off of that counter. And oh, right into the exposed turnbuckle again. And, oh, no. Oh, no. This is what he did to Venom. Snake Eyes into the exposed steel. And now into the cover. One, two. No, Deku's able to kick out of it. And oh, immediately going for the go to sleep. Going for the go to sleep. Oh, Deku's able to get out of it. And an Impaler DDT. What a counter by Deku. Oh, that could have very easily have been it right there. And now, oh, is, is Deku going for the go to sleep? He's going for the go... No, wait. The, the attitude adjustment of the guy he beat on the last episode. One, two. Oh, again, Jeff kicks out. Deku borrowing John Cena's attitude adjustment after that amazing matchup that they had. Oh, but off that counter. And again throwing him into the exposed turnbuckle. Man. Oh, man. I thought that was it. That was one hell of a near fall. Oh, oh no. Oh, not another Snake Eyes. And another Snake Eyes into the exposed turnbuckle. Right into the GTS. Oh, oh, but an elbow. Nice counter by Deku. Off the counter. Off the counter. Detroit Smash. Detroit Smash. He got him. Cover him, Deku. Move on to the semifinals. Into the cover. One. Two, three, he got him. My voice is gone. Deku wins and will be facing Bane in the semifinals of the Totally Awesome Tournament. What a matchup. What a win. Man, Jeff the Killer just cannot beat this kid. I'm not sure if anyone can. But Bane might be the person to do it. But Deku moves on. So we've got... Uh, we've got Sephiroth versus the Joker. And we've all got... We've got Bane versus... De Damn it, Bane, you son of a bitch! Would you stop? You've been do the entire show. Re another. I am so tired of this. Like, Bane, get a life! Rise of the Darkness, sending a message to Deku. He already eviscerated Sephiroth and is now doing the same thing to Deku. But we have our final four, ladies and gentlemen. It's Sephiroth, Joker, Bane, and Deku. Who is winning the tournament? Who's moving on? We will see you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, I'm subscribing, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Just screw you, Bane. You ruined this entire show. I hate you!